Hello friends, it's me. Today we're gonna try not to get uncomfortable. As someone who can't sit still even in a $500 chair, that's going to be very easy for me. Y'all ever wondered what happens if you put a brick in a washing machine? Well, let's find out. Is somebody gonna shut it off? Pull the plug? Like, we, we get it. The washing machine looked like it been through a lot more than a few bricks. You know, I always wondered what would happen. Thank you for this very educational video. Dog, what the? Bro's pulling out his entire inventory out of his belly button. He got cigarette butts in it. Quarters! More? That's at least one dollar. It just kept going and going and going. <laughs> so much space in there. That belly deep. Oh, storage unit in there. You ever lose anything? Check the hole. The belly one. I served myself too much ice cream on top of the lid because I didn't want to get a bowl dirty. Isn't it crazy how she used the lid as a bowl because she didn't want to get a bowl dirty? She served herself too much and now you gotta put the ice cream back. Oh no, it's all melted and all over the covers. I don't think it's worth washing your comforter, putting it in the dryer, and then having to put it back on your bed for a TikTok. But that's just me. Why are you stepping on the burgers, Ashley? <laughs> She's so quirky. She's stepping on lo other siento. people's food. They'll never notice. No, I'm lo siento to your mother and your entire family who supposedly raised you. I just want to know why. Unless they ordered a side of toes. That is nasty. Also, I need to know what kind of hotel puts the food on the ground. Like, are they going to deliver it to the room? Or maybe they already delivered it to the room and nobody ate it. So they're going to like leave it outside. How did y'all order six plates of burgers and forget to eat six plates of burgers. There's too many questions. That better be like a wet to straight flat iron or something. Does she at least spray heat protectant beforehand? Oh, it's sizzling. If the hair wasn't fried before, it is now. Sealing my dead ends back together, I, I don't think it works that way. Unless she knows something that we don't. All I know is her hair is cooked. Hurts my soul. Lab broccoli. You know, just a few drops are necessary. Ew, I don't want to see it move. I hate this page. Every time I see one of these videos, ugh. What is making it move? Oh no, they gotta hold him down. Little broccoli bros alive. It's alive, it's alive. It's alive. He wiggling his stem for the camera. Ugh, I hate it. Kindness and patience will produce the highest quality broccoli juice. Who be drinking broccoli juice? The hot LA Pilates girlies aren't even on that yet. Never rush step two. What is step two? Why are you caressing him like that? Kindness and patience. That was step two, I guess. What's step three? What are you gonna do to him? He looks like he's gonna like vomit his little broccoli brains out. Time to harvest some juice. Ew, it is! <laughs> How is the broccoli moving? I don't even think this is broccoli. It looks a little suspicious and slimy compared to the other ones in the background. Six months from now, all the hot Pilates girlies are gonna be walking around with their green juice. The green juice, that's actually broccoli vomit from Lab Broccoli. At least he was produced with kindness and patience. There's nothing kind about this process. <laughs> Uh, I know a Burger King burger when I see one. I don't know why, for some reason, whenever we would go on road trips or like vacations or anything, we would always stop at Burger King and I would always just get a burger without a bun. And I'd be like, ew, why does it look like that? And I wouldn't really question it much. I would just eat it and I'm like, oh, it tastes fine. Why does it have the holes, the trypophobia on the burger? Like McDonald's don't got that, in and out don't got that. Why Burger King got that? It's suspicious. So I looked it up. Why does my waffer have these little discs stuck on the surface of the hamburger meat? If you ever buy frozen patties, you will see that they are full of evenly spaced holes. Fat juices are drained out of these holes when the patty cooks and when fully cooked, the fat juices congeal into these little things. Okay, you know what? Makes sense. Because they cook frozen patties. This is why Wendy's flexes so hard that their burgers are never frozen. 
Do y'all ever just peel the skin off your heel? That came off in one chunk. Brand new heel meat underneath. Doesn't even look like it's part of the same foot. I don't think that skin was ready to come off. You could tell they peeled it by force. That foot be looking raw. You gotta cook it a little longer. I don't like my heels medium rare. I like my heels well done, thank you. I am roasted by almost everybody I know except one other person that grew up in England like me and also eats well done meat. Why is it my fault? Growing up, that's all we were fed is well done meat. And my parents were like, ew, red meat is disgusting. <laughs> Bloody. The soul of the cow will haunt you. I just want to make sure my cow is cooked. Why they be packaging peanut butter like this? You know, for twelve dollars for a tray of peanut butter—that's the real crime. That better be freshly ground, organic, Whole Foods peanut butter. Why can't you put it in a jar like normal people? Someone tells me whoever buys a tray of the peanut butter is going in for a handful for a midnight snack, and they're going to take that handful back to their gaming setup and be sucking it out of their fingernails while they play Fortnite. Does it feel good? Ah. Therapist. Long grapes don't exist. They can't hurt you. Long grapes. I don't like long grapes. Stop! Make it stop! Ah! If they were crunchy, that would be a different story, but they're usually not. They look like little Smurf sausages. This is coming from a huge grape connoisseur. POV. Uma semana sem usar base fortalecedora. I don't know why I tried to read that. Ah! Watch it again, the bend, the oh! This is why I can't have naturally long nails. The feeling of just raw donging your nails and just having them bend, oh! I can't stand it. I have to do the gel X now on top of it. I don't want to feel it bend. It's so disgusting and uncomfortable feeling your nails bend. Please cut those things off. Get rid of them. Band-aid no. in my pizza. No way there's a band-aid in that pizza. Wait. You probably put it in there for a Oh my god, right? it's in the dough. No. Where are you digging? Like, where's the bandit? Oh! That thing was buried in there! That's not DiGiorno, that's a flesh-eating disease. Covered in cheese. Wait, how do they even know? Oh, they took a bite. They're like, wait a second. Can't bite through this. What's in my pizza? I wonder if the pizza had a little boo-boo. They just slapped a band-aid on it and then covered it with cheese. Like, I'll put you in the oven, you'll be all right. Bake away all the germs. Nobody will notice. Pickle me Elmo without fur is pure nightmare fuel. That was Elmo? They've skinned him. This is the doll. The Tickle Me Elmo doll, like you tickle him and he like kicks and screams and starts laughing. But this is what's under it. The mechanism under the skin. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh, this is really creepy how this works. Tickle his belly and he just like starts kicking and screaming, but you keep going because you love to see him kick and scream. I feel like this is one of the secrets of the world that should have been kept a secret. This elevator is way too chaotic. There's no one. There's no f what? Okay, I want to go to 33. Where's 33? Oh, by the 30 and the 32. Stupid. Why there's so many 38s? Oh, that's why it's so confusing. There's like multiple of floor. Okay, this is weird. I don't like this. If I could choose to never visit this building, I would. It's not my problem then. Somebody took a bite of deodorant. Well, I was hungry and it smelled good. Completely valid excuse. Now I'll let it slide. I'm not gonna lie. It does smell pretty good. You're not you and you're hungry. POV, every mom doing their best to stretch those pumpkins a few more days to Halloween so our kids don't absolutely lose it when we throw them away. There was a whole mold ecosystem growing inside that pumpkin. It didn't even make it to Halloween. Why well, kind of look like cotton candy though? That mold a little too fluffy. No, can't let the intrusive thoughts win. You know, it's still hot here in Halloween. So like my pumpkins always go moldy and it's like, I want to have them out as long as possible, but it's like three days in the sun, they're already moldy. So sad. Wait, you know what's crazy? I've had pumpkins that I grew, I grow pumpkins now. They took way too long to be done. I harvested them in December and they've been sitting outside for like three months and they're fine. Maybe the pumpkins we buy in the store are just like really old. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Uh, hmm. That's not a dumpling. <laughs> they made rat soup. You know, it's okay, it's okay. We eat chickens, we eat cow, we eat turkey. If they want to have rat soup, let them have their rat soup. Respectfully, I'm a pass though. Those things are meaty. How much protein in a rat? Oh, there's the nutritional info of one adult rat. 650 calories, 63 grams of protein. I would try everything at least once. They still on a toothbrush with no bristles. Are these for like massaging your gums? Wait, no, the other one's got bristles though. Somebody break into the Walgreens and just like open the back of this package and then pluck out all the bristles and leave this defective brush just hanging here. Or maybe they forgot to give him bristles at the Aura Care factory. We're not here to make fun of him. 
Saw somebody eating their pizza like this at the airport. In public is crazy. Right in the middle of the pizza. Like a psychopath. It's giving red flags. She also greedy. That's like the best part of the pizza. Like the cheesiest part in the middle. I mean, it's a personal pizza. You eat it how you want. I don't know which is worse. Cutting a slice in the middle or eating it with a fork and a knife. This is probably one of the most creative things we've seen served at a restaurant so far. So this is foul. It's, yeah, it's called foul for a reason. You know, nothing says bone apple teeth. Like a deep fried chicken head popping out of my pie. I feel like this is a gentle reminder of where the food came from. And nothing gets the saliva gland salivating quite like this. Okay, some fried chicken. Okay, everything else looks pretty good. Oh, what was that? Hold on a second. Was that a deep fried chicken leg wrapped in bacon, drizzled in tomato ketchup and mustard? Okay, it looks crunchy. I, I would try it. The whole menu is inspired by chicken from the mains to starters, even desserts. Chicken dessert? I don't know about that one, but it's all chicken. Is the corn chicken? I can't tell. Why does this corn look suspicious? Like, are some of those kernels chicken? No, I missed when everything was cake or slime, but now everything is chicken. What a foul concept for a restaurant. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.